Perfect. Welcome YouTube to this new instructional series with the Gi. Um, this whole series has been made possible by our support at Patreon, patreon.com. It's a platform where we share some more behind the scenes stuff, some extra content and a lot of more stuff. Thanks to the support of some really cool people over there, we can now expand our channel, thankfully, and uh, do some stuff with the Gi. I'm really excited about that. Storm is helping me out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you wanna check out our Patreon, feel free to just check it out, look around. We have some cool stuff over there, but it's really because of the support there. Um, just maybe, I don't know if people know, but the channel is pretty small. We don't get monetized anything by YouTube. It's all on our own effort. Thanks to our amazing support of Patreon, we can now start a new series. We're going to do the Gi series. We're going to use the kimono. We're going to do sweeps, uh, passes, whatsoever. Uh, if you come here for the no Gi instructionals, no fear. We're still going to continue with that. We're just going to add the Gi series. And let's start off with one of my favorite chokes and submissions with the Gi. It's going to be the baseball choke. Storm is helping me out to be the Uki, get choked. Let's uh, show you the stuff. Boots. Okay, we're first gonna check out the basics. I'm gonna have Storm lay down for me, please. Uh, I'm gonna start off in the uh, Neon Belly. Uh, we're gonna work with side control later on to get the submission and some variations, but first you can see a bit more with the space. Uh, I like working with Neon Belly with a grip on the pants, deep in the lapel and getting my elbow tight and low. Yeah, get some control. Now, for the baseball choke, I wanna use my second hand to get inside his collar. Now, the first one is already in place. I have my thumb down, all my fingers go around and control the neck. Now the grip is pretty nice to control. Every time Storm wants to go underneath, I can keep uh, pressure. So if he wants to invert for a sweep, boom, pressure on the neck, I control the hip, yeah, and I have nice control here. Now what I wanna do, instead of uh, getting a positional advantage or switching up, I wanna go down with four fingers inside his lapel. I like to keep my elbow pretty tight so I don't open up for underhooks and back takes, yeah. So controlling the knee on belly, sliding in, getting all my fingers down into the gi, thumb up, and closing a tight fist. Now, to finish up the submission, I have to pass on Storm's arm. Yeah, his right arm in this situation. I like to slide my knee, not down to the arm, but lift my, uh, bring my elbow and my knee all together and slide it down to his jaw, which will not feel pretty comfortable for Storm, but it's pretty good for my submission. So I slide up and get it all the way to his chin and his jaw. I can keep my elbow behind or in front of my knee. I slide down to my hip. And now I extend my wrist and bring my right elbow all the way to the mat as I lift his head up a little bit to get the choke. Yeah. Now, you gotta be careful before we get down to the side control and get more technical. A bit this way, please. So gotta be careful that we um, don't leave too much space between the elbow and the knee. If I go for this choke, this baseball choke, which has the grip like a baseball bat, yeah? So four fingers over, four fingers in, yeah? If I leave too much space between my elbow and my knee, Storm can use his left hand to grab my elbow, yeah, and prevent me from going to the choke. Now, if I get my elbow in front, he wants to prevent me from going, I just slide my knee down and push the whole thing down. Get my hip to the mat, like Kasakatami, bring my elbow down, so I get all the way across his neck, to his artery, stretch my wrist, and I lift his head a little bit, you see, with my left hand. I use my wrist, I use my fingers to get his head up into the choke, bring my elbow down and put some pressure down to get the choke. Now let's see the exact same choke, now from side control. So, in side control, uh, just quickly before we go through with knee on belly, just one minor detail. If I wanna go for the uh, baseball choke and he starts defending, yeah, I can switch up with different chokes as well, yeah, or just get the positional advantage of full mount. And if I feel him getting uh, guard retentions up, I switch back to the grip and get to this, this form of knee on belly which is, uh, as you can see, pretty nice, especially when I put some pressure on. And then I switch back and I just play my game here. Yeah? And every time he's focused on my position advantage or the stress of my knee on belly, that's when I sneak this hand in. You can see his lapel. Sometimes I like to open it up a little bit, you can see. Yeah, so I don't have to scratch all the way across his chest. Open it up, get the control. He's not worried about this lapel, look. And that's when I sneak it in. Boom, get the control, switch, slide down, lift, and go. Yeah? Now, from side control, Things get a little bit tighter. So I wanna do the same thing. Now I have my underhook, and I just sneak this thumb in into the grip, yeah? Usually I don't want him to be worried about this too much. Now it becomes more important that I don't lift up my elbow to reach in, because I give up the underhook space. So what I wanna do, besides getting the microphone a bit higher, I hope this is clear to hear. So what I wanna do, I wanna reach my elbow down and put pressure on his chest. 
then my hand comes in, okay? I don't go up and reach in, because there's way too much space now. So I stay tight, so I have my grip inside the collar, yeah? I get my elbow in pretty tight, I go straight to his chest and slide my fingers in, bam. And keep control, there's a lot of pressure. If Storm wants to go for my back, still so much pressure. Then I pop my knee up and I immediately close the gap between my elbow and my knee. So I don't get too much space, one, I immediately pop up, look, one. Slide my knee down, switch to the mat, lift his head, and submit him. Now, in this scenario, every time you're in the baseball choke, you have your proper grips, yeah? And Storm is a pretty big and strong guy. He's way heavier than I am, way stronger and handsome, yeah? When he tries to reverse me and get back on top, I switch my hip and continue to choke here. I'm gonna check that out from a different angle later on. Switch my hips, finish the choke, okay? So it looks like a pretty basic choke. We're gonna do a lot of variations with this later on with samurai chokes, etc. Get a big bit down, please. Now, a slight variation is whichever setup I use, I'm, I'm a bit too high, there's too much space, yeah? As soon as I go for the finish, I can't really finish here. So what I do, I use my other arm, switch all the way over, and bring both my elbows to the mat, and finish there. So I hope you can see a little bit, now it becomes more of like a cross collar choke. So I use the exact same grip as the baseball choke, but this time I get my knee all the way across his head, low hips, and bring my elbows to the side, stretch my wrists, and finish from there. If his geese slips out, I'll just sprawl out and get to north south. So once again, if my grip is not proper and not tight enough, yeah, I just get the lapel here. There's way too much space. I go for the choke, but as I go now, it's pretty hard to finish him. So I sit through, get my knee to the mat, bring my elbows down, submit it from there. Then, once again, if Storm flips me over, I'm just gonna continue with the motion and turn my hips in. I'm gonna show you from bottom side later on. Uh, let's check out the different angle ones. So I have Storm a little bit more here. So, uh, easy come up. Nice. So we have the baseball grip. I slide his shoulder. If he keeps, for example, if he closes his arms behind me, and he keeps it all tight, I just drive my knee and the top of my shin really hard into his jaw and on this shoulder and pack tendon here. So I just slide and bring it down, boom. Follow up with my elbow. Now as soon as I wanna go for the finish, I can use this to prevent him and put pressure on my shoulder. So if Storm wants to reverse me up, I can keep some pressure. But eventually, what I want to do is I want to go with him and throw my elbow, this right elbow, to the side. So I don't squeeze here. I throw my whole hip and my elbow in to that side as I squeeze and finish. Now those final finishing mechanics, yeah, are the same we're going to use when we use it from the bottom position. Now I can explain to you how it works from, for example, bottom side control, just real quickly. This one's gonna leave a bit of space so we don't, I can still hear what's being said. So same thing applies, I get the grips. Now make like a bridge AB escape, get my knee in between, and then use that space to throw my elbow to the other side and submit him there. But that's a bit basic. We're gonna show you a setup yeah, that I like to use from knee shield half guard. So, so we're a knee shield half guard. What I like to do here is I keep control of his far side shoulder, yeah, and prevent him from cross-facing, keeping my knee shield high, etc., etc. What I want to do in this case is I want to sneak this hand behind and get control of his lapel here. Now I don't want to give away what I'm doing. I don't want to give away exactly what it is that I'm setting up. So I only get this grip in, yeah, and I'm just holding it here. And I keep fighting for this cross-face or faking sweeps or anything I get to get the position. And then I let him pass my knee shield. I keep this hand in this area, yeah? So he's working, trying to pass knee shield, I get my grip in, and as soon as he knee slides to pass, I throw my elbows out to the side. Now you can once again see, yeah, the elbow, the hips, stretch my wrist, finish. If at this moment he falls over, rolls over, I get back on top, and we finish back with the regular baseball choke. So guys, that's about it. <laughs> It's a pretty nice submission, and I think most people will know it with the game. Um, it's easy to sneak in, and one, one of the things I think is most important, especially with sparring, is to set it up, yeah? As soon as this, this hand goes sneaking in, he knows what's up. So I have to work position, especially from bottom or from top control, keep my underhook safe, yeah? Slide the fingers in, and then go for it. So cutting down on his shoulder and tendon to get to the side control position. There's a nice follow-up with the uh, cross collar choke, yeah, if you're too, too, uh, too shallow. If he rolls, we can follow up, throw our hips in. And the most important uh, mechanic is like 
hitting with a baseball bat and getting my elbow down to the side. This is way more important than just pulling or squeezing with the wrists. Bam, lifting his head. It's a really tight choke, yeah? And another video we're gonna show you later on, we're gonna show you a variation with this called the Samurai Choke with his lapel. And for now, we'll keep with baseball choke. Beautiful choke. It can also be done no-gi. We haven't done that on the channel yet, but with the gi, it's so tight. It's such a beautiful move. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out our coming gi series videos and stay tuned for more of our no-gi content. See you in the next video. Peace.